Why That's why some of them is full of cobwebs. So Kevin Simmit was a passenger in. At the end of it, he sustained serious injuries and he was taken to the Lindsay Hospital where he was pronounced doctor on duty. You're not like anyone else. You find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Send us up to the time, you know it's called Tell. Representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva. The three constables that were in the vehicle with him, one of them was pronounced at the Spanish Town Hospital. The other two are in critical condition, and as we speak, they are currently undergoing treatment. So we are here now, hoping that they make a full recovery but their injuries are considered very serious the accident um, took place on church street somewhere in the vicinity of the listed bypass first let me ask miss lindsay if you are waiting for some man to be why did you take it faster safer route that's the highway well, in a situation like that, I think the person who will be transporting would make the best assessment of. Hey, peeps, it's your girl Blessed D Gaza Diva, and welcome back to the Blessed D Gaza Diva channel. And by now, I see that majority of you would have heard that it is confirmed that the cult pastor Kevin Smith has passed yes it's official when we get back we're going to look at what some of the people on the scenes had to say and we're going to read some people are saying that it's not true it's not real and they don't believe it until they see actual pictures that's why some of the practice full of cobwebs and even the spider will live in the dead <laughs> So this come from man? I want to care. I want this here. Go ahead and this is man. Jesus Christ. Huh? So what is all this? What is this? What is this? I'm going to put this little clip here again so that you can see and hear that it is confirmed. Serious injuries and he was taken to the Lindsay Hospital where he was pronounced. Nationwide News has confirmed that it is indeed official. Official. So even if you don't believe it, it is from a reputable news entity. It's also on the Jamaica Observer. It's also on the Gleaner, but Nationwide News, with whom I have great confidence, they can confirm. So they said confirmed. Nationwide News can confirm that controversial pastor of the Pathways International Church, Kevin Smith, is dead. One member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force has succumbed also to injuries sustained in the accident. Two other members of the constabulary are currently undergoing surgery and are in hospital. People, let's keep those persons in our prayers. Also, the person who was speaking was Stephanie Lindsay, and she was the one who gave the latest update. As you can hear from her, she is officially confirming that Kevin 
is no longer around. So we take to the comment section real quick, people, because a lot of people, even in the last video that I posted, had a lot of speculations, are saying that it's not true, and you go over nationwide news, and the same thing is there. Why did they exit the toll in Linstead, and they were going straight to Kingston? So this no seem fishy to uno. Big NSRS. Holy Spirit, you are the revealer of truth. Expose the details of the situation. Not nothing be hidden from us. Expose it all, Lord, in Jesus' name. The question about why they take the old road is a very good question. Why not take the highway for real? They continued. Something not right, yes, sir. Me just want ball. Condolence to the police family and speedy recovery to the other two officers. Someone, this must be a prank. Hmm. Bypass instead of highway. Something not right. Nobody choose bypass instead of highway. The extent of the hit was not meant to have survivors. Not many things just wrong with that story. Apparently, he would sing like a bird on the powerful people in the country. So he had to be taken out. People, food for thought. I did think about that. Tell me your thoughts all down below in the comment section. So the pastor goes to Linstead Hospital, but the police goes to Spanish Town. Unmarked vehicle, Old Road, Mobe, Kingston, everything about this episode of the Excellency series just now add up. What a fake movie. So why Kevin pronounced a Linstead and police officer at Spanish Town. Something right. We need to see an actual funeral and the pastor in the casket first because something no right. Ninja man voice. So the police set up the crash and in the process decided if the other three were to succumb as well as collateral damage. Smith and your JCF spokeswoman. Do people fake their passing in Jamaica? Or a foreign alone, them do them thing there. Miss Stephanie, anytime you come talk, a bail I you tell. Walk them to the toll road. Why them never drive there? And walk them to Mobe Circuit Court. Him can't get charged down there. A town court alone charge fee shmurda. <laughs> anyway, people, those are some of the many feedbacks around what people think. But though, let us take a real look at but what has happened. But strongly convince you that you must come on board this. Come on board your mom. Let me tell you something. Your mama climb for your papa. Your papa climb for your mama. You're not climb for me. If it is indeed actually what it is. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't believe that I am. But I do believe that I am a thinker. I'm an advocate of analyzing a lot of things. And I must say to you, in this one or on this one, the very first thing I thought to myself, as did the others, why not take the toll road? Why you take the old road? And if your thoughts are the same, tell me now down below in the comment section. That aside, let's look at all we have seen since last week, Sunday. Kevin has taken an entire congregation under the pretense of serving the almighty anybody who chooses to pretend that they are serving god god is a jealous god and you don't have to believe in the bible you don't have to believe in what i am saying but just know that god is a jealous god any man who chooses to esteem himself above that which is godly or above that which is created by God will be cut down and it is what it is. We can't go around it. So if this is in fact reality, then I am not surprised. Do I wish this had happened to him? No. Am I happy this has happened to him? No, because this is not something that we come back from. Even God himself wishes for every man to find repentance and have a penitent's heart and do come to him and he will throw the sins into the sea of forgetfulness and he forgives. Now, Kevin, a lot of people don't know, was heavily involved in witchcraft. A lot of people were talking about fake pastor this, fake pastor that, and was missing the essence of what Kevin was into. Kevin was into the dark, dark, dark elements 
of the spiritual. It wasn't even only just being a bad pastor, collecting late fees. He was doing that to finance his lifestyle and he clearly was into it for money-making thing. So again, the devil will at a cost who he can through whatever gluttonous needs they have. For somebody who was well learned, went to school and educated and did this, you'd think that, you know, you know the Bible, you can get yourself around, you're smart, you're educated, you didn't have to do this. But I think Kevin was seeking the easy way out. And in so seeking the easy way out, so that aside, it's always the easy way or route out that a number of these people are choosing, including Kevin. Now back to Kevin and what has transpired. Now, as I said, if this is genuinely the case with Kevin, authentically, this has happened to him, then as one woman is saying in the video, it's on harsh and it's on cold, but God is bigger. And the minute we understand that God is bigger, you cannot undermine God. You cannot put God on a side seat. You cannot esteem yourself above God Almighty. If you do esteem yourself above God Almighty, you are signing your own end. That is as simple as that. It is not just Satan you're giving over yourself to. You are signing off yourself from the Almighty. And in so doing, and in so doing, you put yourself at risk and not even only yourself at risk, other souls. Also remember, the devil is a user. No matter what he promises you, no matter what he gives to you, at the end of the day, there is only one reward from him and that is bitterness and that's how it ends. It ends no other way. Let no one fool you. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts on down below in the comment section. As per usual, we'll have a discussion. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out.